Hey, what's up? I'm Chef Aaron Fish, and this is Fish Food, where we make tasty, approachable snacks. And today, we're making sweet potato donuts with pilanchillo, fall guy, caramel sauce. Pitter patter, let's get at her. Let's start with making the donut batter. We got our flour, sugar, baking powder, We're gonna use a little pumpkin powder. A little raza hunu. We're gonna whisk this up. All right, we've got our dry mix made. Now we're gonna make our wet mix. I've got some canned sweet potato. Milk. One egg. Drop it like it's hot. And some canola oil. We'll whisk that up. Add it to our dry mix. Let's grab that spatula so no one yells at me on Instagram. Give it a good whisk. And it's going to be thick. That's okay. All right, let's make our caramel sauce. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put some water in the bottom of the pot. Then we're gonna add our sugar. And you be careful, pour your sugar right in the center, just like that. We'll put this guy down in here. We don't want it up on the edges because what the water's gonna do is help dissolve the sugar and rise the, uh, the temperature up high enough that we can start to caramelize um, without any burning on the outside of the pot. Kick the heat on. Let's throw it up over a medium high for now. And this guy is gonna take a little while to break down. So this is a pilanchillo um, sugar from, from Mexico. It's a style of sugar they use over there. It comes in a cone shape. You can usually find it with dried chilies at the grocery store. Um, it's got a very like brown sugar, deep, um, earthy flavor. So it's gonna make a kind of a fun little twist on our caramel today. All right, so this has been going for a few minutes now. We've got the, the pila and chilo um, dissolved. It's bubbling. You can see it looks real dark like it's burnt, but it's not. Um, we're sitting at about 260 degrees, 65, it's climbing. Perfect. This is where you wanna turn it down to like a low, and we're gonna bring it up to about 300 degrees. Normally you wanna take, when you're making caramel sauce, about 350, um, but because of the dark richness of the pilanchillo, you don't really need to take it that far. So we're up to 300 degrees. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding the cream and it's gonna bubble a lot. So you wanna, it's okay, don't freak out. We've got the cream in there, we're gonna add a little bit of vanilla. A little bit of the fall guy. A nice salty and spicy flavor. And then just a smidge of lemon juice for some balance. Now it looks super thin. It's not gonna be that thin. This is really, really hot. You wanna be really careful that you don't touch this with uh, your skin or anything because hot sugar will destroy you. So we're gonna let this sit but we heat up our oil for our donuts and, uh, and we'll make some donuts. All right, so I've got my oil in a Dutch oven here. Um, I really like to use the Dutch oven because it presents even heat. Um, you can use just a normal sauce pot um, or if you have you know, an electric fryer at home. I personally don't like the electric fryers. They're a giant mess to clean up. It's a lot easier to fry in something like this, let it cool off on your stove, strain it out and deal with everything at that point. So I've got my thermometer in here. It's really important that we stay in that about 350 to 375 range while we're frying. Um, if you don't have one of these, you can totally use um, just like a normal dial thermometer, uh, or, but I highly recommend you invest in something um, like a Thermalux Chef Alarm, they're great. So we've got our donut batter right here. I'm using a one ounce scoop and we're just gonna drop them in. All right, I've got some maple sugar in a bowl here. Our donuts are ready to come out. We're gonna go grab them right now. 
Now you can always check their doneness by using um, a skewer or a toothpick or a fork or something. Just kind of like brownies, same concept as uh, you want to see if there's any dough coming out on them. And then uh, while they're nice and hot, we're going to give them a toss so that the sugar coats them really good. If you, can, if you have strong hands, you can put your hands in there. All right, look at those. All right, donuts are done, caramel's done. Let's plate them up and eat them because there's nothing better than a hot, fresh donut. So, we're gonna put a little sauce on the plate. Build our donuts into the sauce. It's a nice little donut tower. And then we're gonna go ahead and sauce a little more because why not? You're worth it. Oh my God, look at that. Some toasted pepitas on top. There's pumpkin seeds. Gives it that next level look. All right, we gotta get into these donuts before they cool off. So, let's do it. Which one? I'm gonna go with you. And get some of that sauce off the bottom. We're just gonna mess this plate up because we don't care. Like that, yeah. Sweet potato adds like an unexpected element to the donut. You've got the sweet and spicy from the caramel. The fall guys, the maple sugar pairs nicely. And that delicious fish food. 